Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor, and this is Pokemon Shield version on the Nintendo Switch. This is episode 11 of our Half Lock playthrough. In the last episode, I uh, lost a Pokemon to a horrible experiment that went wrong, but I didn't really care because it was just I wasn't really attached to, to that one, which means we have a total of three deaths. And I'm still recording on my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to sing to myself because A, I can't sing. B, I hate when people sing that to me. And, and C, it's lame to sing happy birthday to yourself. So in this episode, we're going to head over to Galar Mine number 2, which is where Hop is waiting for us to do some training before we head back to Motostoke for the third badge. And at the end of last episode, I mentioned that I was going to use... Uh, the the Mudbury that we caught earlier, I don't remember if I caught it on camera or off camera, but then I looked it up and I saw that his his that his ability was own tempo, which I don't really think is a very useful ability. So I released that one and then caught a different one uh, that has uh, the ability stamina, which will raise its defense stat any time it gets hit by any attack, which I think is a lot more useful. So he is over here, and I named him Ashton. Spelled with two S's because an ass is another name for a donkey. And for some reason, this donkey is going to eventually evolve into a giant horse uh, at level 30. So he's going to probably be our most valuable member in the fire gym. Although I think his strongest is actually um, one of those bug fire things. So I don't think that ground types will be super effective, but he will be useful for the other fire types. And yeah, so his stamina gets boosted when he's hit by an attack. He knows Double Kick, Rock Smash, Bulldoze, and Stomp. And the only other ground move that he's going to learn, like he's not going to learn Earthquake or anything, is... Um, what is it called? It's either Stomping Tantrum or uh, High Horsepower, which is only five points weaker than... Er oh, and he will learn. He will learn Earthquake. He'll learn it at level 36. Yeah, because Earthquake is, is five power stronger and has five more accuracy than high horsepower. But other than that, they are basically the same move. The next move he's going to learn is Counter, which is useless because he's not a fighting type, and it's a little bit too situational for my liking. But that being said, I had to do quite a lot of max raid battles, and I gotta say, using the, using the mystery trade is really effective, because you almost always get something... And it doesn't take very long to get connected. And out of all the max raids that I did to get Ashton up to the level that he is now, I got maybe two battles where there were actually other players joining me. And that was basically the entire reason that I bought the Nintendo Online for a year. But that's okay, because I do have it for a year and it will have other uses. Like I can play Brawl on, uh, like Ultimate Online now. And I don't think I could do the mystery trades at all without it. So, whatever. But I'm kind of disappointed because I figured that that was like the big selling point. Is that people would come and help you do max raids. Because the CPU players that you have in the things are so stupid and useless. And they send out the most unhelpful Pokemon. Like a normal person is going to look at what the Pokemon is and say, Oh, that is a ground type. I should probably not send out a fire type to try and help catch this thing. But anyway... When you're doing max raid battles that are like level 1, 2, 3, and 4, doing it without anyone's help is fine. The 4s can be really tricky, but I don't normally have lots of difficulty. The only ones that I really don't like are um, Galvantula, and I really didn't like that, uh, that Araquanid that I fought, and I also really have a hard time with Lanterns. But other than that, I usually have very little trouble defeating them, and I eventually win and get what I wanted. And when you go to five stars, it's ridiculously insane, because it still only has four feints. So it doesn't matter how well you do, because it's the other people that are going to screw you over. And then the Pokemon has two sets of shields. It's I don't know how you're ever supposed to do that. But whatever, I'm getting off topic. But because of all the max raids that I did, I ended up fighting a lot of Magikarps. And for some reason, even though Magikarp is Magikarp, and it has, and they were all one stars, they give a lot of stuff. Like, each one gives you, like, five or six normal nuggets and at least one large nugget. So look at this here. We've got 
three big nuggets and 16 large nuggets with $5,000 a piece. So money is definitely not going to be an issue right now. I've been waiting to sell these specifically for this episode because I wanted to show just how many freaking big nuggets I ended up with. Look at this. That's eight. Th that's eighty thousand dollars right there. That's more money than I currently have on me. And now we're gonna get another sixty thousand dollars from these three big ones. So now we just jumped up into the two hundred thousand dollar range. So I also have a couple of uh, TRs here, but I don't think any of these are gonna be useful. Um. So yeah. Oh, wait. Wrong button. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, head towards Galar Mine number two. With our new donkey friend, Ashton. Uh, I think we want to go this way. Yeah, this looks right. And if I'm not mistaken, we battle what's his name in here, Bead, which means we're gonna need someone with dark type moves. Um, you do not have dark type moves. You do. You don't. You do. But you're also weak to psychic types, so I gotta be careful about that. Cause I really like Cuddles, and I don't want him to go down. You can do it, cause you have knockoff, which is a dark type move now. And you could not... Well, and you're not going to be weak, but you're not going to be useful either. But I don't remember where he is. I don't think he's at the beginning. So... Oh, there's a Shuckle. Ooh, and a Noir Bat. Let's even get the Noir Bat. Let's see. It's a Noir Bat. Go, Kiera! I know you can do it. Wow, she, like, perfectly blends into this environment. Wow, that is a really high-level Nwibat. I might be under-leveled, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. Air kata. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We've got this. We've got this. <laughs> there. Done. Oh, yes, and I also got a Larvitar. From a, a Mac, from a, a random trade, and that is one of my favorite Pokemon's ever. Actually, it's it's Tyranitar is my favorite, and uh, she is over here. I haven't given her a nickname yet, and she's level one, but that would be really cool to use because I love Tyranitar. But again, it's going to be four times weak against fighting moves when it evolves, and it's already four times weak to water and grass. So, I... I don't know. For right now, I kind of want to use Ashton, because I really like Ashton. He's kind of cool. I've always thought that Mudbray was really cute, and I think the concept of it evolving from a donkey into a horse is really cool. And Mudsdale, or whatever its name is... What is it? Is it Mudsdale? Yeah, it's Mudsdale. Because Mudsdale is, like, nine feet tall, and it's, like, two... Like, how, how much does it weigh? So he evolves at level 30. Yeah, and it weighs like 2,280 pounds-ish. 2,028 pounds, yeah. I don't know if that's in like an actual weight. No, it's eight... He's eight feet tall, actually. Which is like 920 kilograms. Even though I'm in up Canada and we have the metric system, for a lot of things we still use part, parts of the imperial system because it's what we've grown up with. Like I, like, I don't know how tall I am in centimeters. I always say that I'm 6'3", because I am. And I don't know how much I weigh in, like, kilograms, but I know that I'm fat and overweight. So we, we use we use that, and, like, if you're, like, measuring the length of your penis, um, I, I have to use a meter stick. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we still use inches for that. There's just a lot of things that we still use it for, but then we also use the metric system, so it's kind of weird. But we never use Fahrenheit here. It's always Celsius, because Celsius is a lot easier. And it makes more sense, because water boils at 100, and it freezes at zero. Can't get much simpler than that. Uh, ooh, is there something shiny over here? No, there is not. All right. Whoa, oh, there he is. You again.
I'd feel sorry for my Pokémon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokémon battle. Hold on a minute. Huh, I have no time to deal with pathetic trainers. But yet he's still gonna wait there and give me a chance to heal everybody. Um, okay. So, we should probably level up Pyrrha. So we're gonna put her in first because she also has the lucky thing. And that's better. I like how this guy says that I'm that I'm that he thinks he's stronger than me, but I beat him last time with only one Pokemon without ever switching. And I don't even know if he has two badges like me. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Bead. He still only has the same four Pokemon. And I still want that Solosis if we can find one. I really like Solosis. I think it's a really interesting Pokemon. I prefer Abracadabra and Alakazam, but I don't have the... But I can't mod this game so that I don't have to trade it. And I don't know anybody that I would be able to like talk to and say, Hey man, can I trade you this for this? And then like get it back. And also, it's not in this game. Ah! Dude! Pyrrha, oh my god! Oh my god, Pyrrha! And that wasn't even a critical hit! Good god! Oh, thank the lord, that was a critical hit. Oh my god, that scared me! Holy crap! Oh! Agathita. Alright, I'm changing, because I don't want to have that happen again. That was not fun. Let's try using Kiera, and see how that goes. She does have a berry, so I'm not too worried about healing her. Alright, so let's do... Um... Let's do Pluck. I'm definitely faster than this thing. Okay, I think I know why that did so much damage. It's because Psyshock does damage based on my defense instead of special defense. And I think that, uh... I think that Pyrrha's special defense is higher, so it did a lot more damage to her than it did to Kiera. So she can probably survive another one, so let's do another Pluck. Take this! Yeah, she's fine. We can do that. We can handle another one. Alright. Knock it out. Take that! Okay. So far, so good. Did not lose Pyrrha. I'm, I refuse to lose Pyrrha, at least until I can evolve her. A Hatena. Alright, so for that we're gonna bring in Ringo, because Ringo is immune. So, even if I get critical hit or whatever, I can't lose him. The only time I could actually lose this, this playthrough completely is if I was to not bring Ringo along. But, why would I do that? Because A, Ringo's awesome, Grass-type is a useful type, and, you know, B, because if I don't have him, then I would lose, and that would not and that would defeat the purpose of, you know, devoting my time to this. Oh, and it was a crit too. Good job. All right, so now what's next? What do you have now? I think you have that Indeedy thing. Oh, a Ponyta. I want that. I want that. Okay, that is just a regular. That is just a regular Psychic type, I think. So I'm going to try and use Cuddles. But... Eh, see, I don't know. Like, he knows, he knows a Dark type move. But if he gets hit with a Psychic type, it's going to be super effective. I should probably just stay with Ringo, actually. Not everyone can corner my team like this, even though I've done it before, and have done it again. Pony- the, the Galarian Ponyta is awesome. It looks like something taken right out of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. No, I'm not a brony, so don't even get to go there. 
I wish I had that Game Shark cheat that would allow me to capture trainers' Pokémon. That would be awesome. Because then I could get it, and it would already be level 22, and I wouldn't even have to level it up that much. Yeah, I'm glad I taught him knockoff. That's been that's proven very very useful. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Bead. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Yeah, bullshit. You just suck. You need more than just psychic types because they all have the same weaknesses. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here. I'll give you this, something to show that you are at least tried. <laughs> something I, I'll use it to wipe my ass with. Now, where shall I go next to collect wishing stars? I don't care, as long as you get out of my way, I'm happy. I really don't like that guy. Had a couple of pretty close calls in that battle, but we triumphed, because I'm awesome. Alright, now, I have to remember to watch out for those, because those are actually Stunfisks. So let's battle this guy, and see if I have any better luck with this than in the previous time. Worker Francis! That was Ajax's real name in Deadpool. Oh, snap. Okay, well, we're definitely not going to mess with that, but we will intimidate it. That thing could mess me up with its rock-type moves. So we're going to send in Quincy, because that's perfect for him to use a water move on. One water pulse is, should be all we need from him. Ha! Pitiful. Not effective. Not effective at all. Water pulse! Go! Yes. Awesome. Nice job, Quincy. And now you should level up, too. And Ringo, too. So Ringo is 25, Quincy is level 24. Let's learn Sucker Punch. Well, your physical attack is not bad. I suppose it's probably more useful than Bind. I'm honestly never going to use Bind. You defeated Worker Francis! A loss is a loss. My Pokémon lost its energy, too. Yep, that's the way it goes sometimes. Three Dusk Balls. Cool, those will be useful for catching anything in here that I want. Uh, okay, but we need to give an Orenberry to... Kiera. And I think that's it. Yeah, because because Ashton has a lot of life, I put him in last. Well, now I have to put him there because he has slightly less life than Ringo at 25. But I put Ashton with a Citrus Berry because I think it's going to heal more. When you use the Citrus Berries out of your bag, it doesn't heal very much at all. Citrus Berries used to heal 30. And then the Orin Berries heal 10. But now the Orin Berries heal 10, and I don't think... Citrus berries have a specific amount that they heal. Have a specific amount that they heal. I think it just heals a small amount. So I don't know if it's actually going to be like stronger or if it's going to heal more than the orange berries. But we'll find out. What is this going to be? A rock and roller. I think this will be a perfect opportunity for us to test out Ash Ashton in battle. Because I've never really used him yet. I've just been giving him candies because it's the most, it's the fastest way to level him up. All right, go, Ashton. Let's try you out. That's already a really useful ability. Rock smash! Because it is a rock. Pow! That seems like a really useless ability. Its defense falls, so it's going to take more and more damage each turn, but it does get faster. That's not very useful in a com like in a playthrough, but... Like... In competitive, I'm sure it has its uses, but it's it's very dangerous. 
because now it made it so that I could take it out with with an, only one hit when it probably would have survived the second one normally. A timber that is a full, that is a fighting type, so this is Kira's job. Alright, super effective. Pluck! Go! What? How did you survive that? I demand an explanation! Okay, focus your energy all you want. You're going down next turn. Peck. You're done, son. Boom. Actually, that was probably a girl, because the female trainers always have female Pokémon. Kira grew to level 24. Ashton grew to level 24. Ashton wants to learn counter. No. You defeated Worker Yvonne. The muscles I use for work and for battle are different. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Grip Claw. Which extends the use of multi-hit turns, even though I never use multi-hit turns because they suck. Or moves. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey, but that's really something. I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Elizabeth. Surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oi, jog off, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah? And can't you see that I'm hot, the trainer who will be your next champion? Ooh, so we've got a joker here, eh? You're so funny I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think a battle with you a lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, Elizabeth. You ready, mate? Yes. Yes, I am. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be yell ow. Oh, yell o. Oh. That's really stupid. That's a really dumb pun. Alright, so one sending out a Lanoon, and then the other- yeah, they're, it's just gonna be pure dark types, that's fine. Alright, so if that's how they want to be, then let's send out... First of all, we're gonna intimidate both of them, because that's what Pyrrha does. She looks you in the eye, and then you understand that you're gonna die. Uh, let's send in... Because Cuddle still doesn't know any actual fighting moves, so we're gonna send in Ashton, because he knows two different fighting moves. Night Slash! Ow. That's okay, because my defense will just get higher now. You're gonna raise your special attack? But you're not a special attacker. Why would you do that? Seriously, Hop? That's what you're gonna do on your turn? You're gonna use Growl. But that's it. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, this will hurt both of them. But it's not going to be very effective. I'm actually going to get rid of that Lanoon before it can Night Slash me again. Like that. But it's okay, because my defense keeps getting higher. And its attack is lowered. As long as it doesn't crit, then we're going to be fine. What are you doing? Why do you keep doing that? You're not, you're not a special attacker. Go, Ashton! Destroy! Oh! So close. If you would use an actual fighting type, that would have done more damage. Moron. Alright, here. We're gonna use Bulldoze. And the quick attack isn't gonna do anything but make me even stronger. I already think Ashton is gonna be a real MVP in our in our party. Ground types are really good. Oh, that did so much damage. Oh, it was a critical hit. That was beautiful. Perfect. That was the most amazing thing. Oh, man. That's so good. Cuddles and... Oh, we got three levels up. Quincy go to level 25. Cuddles go to level 24. Pyrrha go to level 24. Takedown. No. Firefang. Sure. 
That's slightly stronger than what we already have, so we'll put it there. But there was no target. Yep, that seems pretty typical. Alright, so that's not even a dark type yet. It doesn't become a dark type until later. So, we're gonna do Rock Smash on the Lipard. If if I use if, if I have my stamina thing, would that make it do um would, would it do damage or like would it trigger stamina with each hit? Because Fury Swipes hits up, up to two to it hits two to five times. Alright, so then I think we can bulldoze now because it's not gonna affect the Corvus Wire. Cool. Alright. Bulldoze! Yes, I know it doesn't affect Corvus Squire. I don't care. That's the whole point. Nice. Got them both. And Ashton grew to level 25. Five levels away from evolving. And I think Cuddles is three levels away from evolving, so that's pretty cool. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. <coughs> Pansies. Nice one, Elizabeth. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kuba have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Dude, that's a wild... What do you call it? Uh... Yeah, I don't really want to mess with that thing. Star piece. Cool. Um, ooh, it's a binnacle. Let's get it. It's kind of derpy looking, but I kind of like it. Alright, I'm gonna try using my Dusk Ball on it and see if we can catch it, because we are in a cave, so... Let's give this a try. Haha, -ha, we got one! Cool! Um... Did you... I'm gonna call him Derpy. Derp and derp. Derp and derp. Derp and derp. Derp and derp has been sent to a box. It's like dumb and dumber. Derp and derp. Herp a derp. Um, okay. Whoa, there's another one. Uh, oop. I don't wanna do that. I wanna go this way. And get the shiny thing over here. A bag of soft sand. Ooh. That's perfect for... You know what... You know who's getting it. You know who's gonna get it. It's gonna be... Ashton. Yes. The more things that I can do that actually improve... Uh, stab moves, the better. So, let's do... Oh, he caught me right at the very end. I thought I could maybe make it to the TM over there. Damn. Railstaff Vincent. Drillbur. Oh, balls. This is not a good thing. Take that. You're intimidated. Um, alright. So if that's how they're gonna be, then let's use Kiera because she's immune to ground types. And that thing is a ground... is just a ground type. It doesn't become steel until it evolves. And now you can't eat berries either. But you can hone your claws. Not that it's gonna help you out that much, because I'm gonna get you. Pluck! Go! Take this! That was a decent hit. 
Hey, you're not the only one that can hone your claws. I can do that too. Look, I'll show you. Hone claws! Go, Kiera! Kiera's attack rose. Kiera's accuracy rose. Rapid spin! Pah! Pitiful. You gotta try harder than that to get through Kiera. Pluck! But you are getting faster than her. So this is why I didn't like using a Cor this is why I didn't like using Corviknight's evolution line, is because they're slow, and that's like the whole thing that bird Pokemon are supposed to be good at is speed. Kira good to level 25. An Onyx. Ah, that will be something for Uh let's go with Cuddles. He doesn't know any fighting moves yet, but um, he does need the experience. Because the sooner he can evolve, the sooner he'll actually start learning decent fighting moves. He's going to evolve at 27. I think I, I said that already. Smackdown, but it's not very effective because I'm a fighting type. Haha. -ha. It's not very effective. But this will do a decent amount of damage. Oh, no, wait. I forgot that you're a rock ground. I'm stupid. Alright, then I guess we probably should put in Quincy. My bad. I thought that maybe he was strong enough that it would make a uh, that it could do like a nice dent in it, but he's he's not. Onyx is just too physically defensive. Uh, let's go. Water pulse. Habla. Ooh, nice one, Quincy. Good job. Ringo grew to level 26. Quincy grew to level 26. You defeated real staff Vincent! What incredible power. Guess I was the only one sent flying. Ooh, but look at all that money. It's lovely. What do we have here? Sand tomb. Really? Well... Actually, that is a ground type move. And it's a physical damage move. Maybe we can teach this to Ashton and get rid of something else. Like maybe Double Kick. Because it really is not that useful. Like he's really definitely a physical attacker. So Stomp will be a good move, and it can make things flinch. Rock Smash is good for rock types, but Double Kick we don't really need. But I can always relearn it later, so... We're gonna go here, and let's grab Ashton, check summary, and we can do... Oh, that already is in line like that. Lovely. Well, anyway, folks, that's all the time I have for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future, where we will continue to play more Pokemon Shield version on the Nintendo Switch in our Half-Lock Nuzlocke Thingy-Majiggy Challenge. And until next time, peace out, and as always, Game On. See ya!